last year zile masipala ziyokhalaza ke development ngemhlaka 28 february sahlangana namaphoyisa asivimbela sasendleleni they deployed to one of the mmcs or either is someone from public safety he came to present a letter to us so rata maya ra boela ko morago ra feta ra e mafou mo ne ba re boleletse go rogo go e balla te ra e bala ga re simane go e bala ra ile mo ga go rotse ha ina stempe e bile ke copy fela ra bo wa ra go ka matsoga a rona ra isa ko godimo go supa gore ga re lwane e bile ga ra ta ka ntwa mapodisa e rile fela fa re ba tumela ba tsaya ntshengwe e kua mosi ba tsaya ba ile tlhela fa ga re ga rona ka entsa mosi o montsi ba tshimolano ba tshi ba re thuntsa In the northwest of South Africa, next to the rich mining town of Rustenburg, lies the small informal settlement of Popomolefe. Since the fall of apartheid in 1994, the community has had no water, power, sanitation, or any other service delivery. In February 2018, they marched legally against the municipality to be met with violence. This is their story. Unozi zetlamini, wase teben, maringi shala e popo mulife. There is a very big difference between popo mulife compared to teben. There is no any development here. We are suffering too much. We are living in in a tin house, mkuku, uh, no streets. No electricity. The electricity we have, it's, it's, it's from our own pocket. Yes, if you don't have money, you don't have electricity. And this electricity is illegal. And uh, sometimes children are, are died because of this electricity. No schools, no clinics. The clinics we have, we have to pay eight rand. It's not the 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 the, 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 the government clinic. It's just a private clinic. So there is nothing at all. Jan, for killing them far, give me bridge. Mo kona limit, give me lap kolo far. Bana ba kaba kanya ba feta ba ya skolo. Wana uta ba ato ko skolo. O chanzo kora ire homework. I can say homework, Hakuna Mutakasi, Utanzora did secondly, Hora Akono Hori, I ate homework. Brizzy Bobo Fabo, Bona Lebo Tata Bobo Sira Seca Hori, Temfan Fakana Hoyo Yadineo, Honale Mutatomo Unatawaki Mates, Bana Banabasa Sukolo, any eight eight, any Lor Banaha by Scolon Totali, Badula Koma Haye, Yan Robata or Nabana Barnaba Rele, Tahoro Camoso, Bahon Horbatin Scolo, Bahon Horba Rute in Nebato Sichabe. So, yan ha go ntse yana gore gore bana ba go rona ba ba go sokola gore ha ba kitla ba khona gore ba ikhelela diotseleng gore rona ga ra di ikhelela ene rona re re eletsa gore bana ba rona ba ikhelele diotseleng gore rona ga ra di fikhelela go go hlala go to epopo mlefe go go no bontse ma o bokholo ga kholo ngo ba se shota ga kholo nga ma services yona lo mpilo e phlungu kodwa o kubala le tle o nje sihleli singabakhi ba se popo mlefe Orange into a plum will end about almost far away to a gas, nigger my services. Ogustana Marcy for never see my voting. Sis Bufila got plum, a cool long of arms, his bosom bosom with it. Tina could not go to Hulu Mende, when I was a popomly for Balenda. Since nineteen ninety four, a corner, 
God wa askar for money my services. And Abanda Banins above man even a grant. I go call Nama food parcel up Pumayo. This is Bugella and Jaguez Munda. I go to get Pumama food parcel and Munda's Catalan government. Tinas Catalan government. This is Bugella and Jaguez and Jaguez Munda. God has named me Niaga Eminem to sing about vote up in South Africa. Sing about vote for the window. Yes, a pop From 2015, Kubene event, La Pepo Pumlife. Ebim Kulu Beguze Kona Uba Tabile Lamine. Uko U Premier, Ongo Suprama Uma Pil. Ingum Pokuno. But Tabile Lamine Usnigas Ile Imali. Enga nge 30 million. Esi tufufuna kuti kuguza muku wenzu wi seizi sizi. Kulenda wia sepopo mlife. Wambu za futi u suprama umapile. Suprama umapile. Una mali ni yok developer. Inda wia sepopo mlife. Watuna 20 milioni. Wambu za umpokuno ongu meya. Una mali ni yok developer. Lenda watuna 27 million. Still loma la skaka iboni. The roads in popo mlife have been made with gravel from the local mines crusher. Some taps have been installed by the local mine, but the pressure is inconsistent. Local entrepreneurs have set up an informal power grid. The wires frequently fall. Residents claim one killed a child in 2018. In terms of the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights, all state parties that have ratified that covenant have a binding obligation to deliver on the socioeconomic rights, which include an adequate standard of living. And this adequate standard of living, by extension, also includes basic service delivery, um, access to adequate water, sanitation, and hygiene services. So on an international level, the municipality does have obligations to provide service delivery to informal settlements. But also in our domestic law, um, the municipalities have a constitutionally defined mandate in terms of section 26 and 27 of the constitution also to provide basic service delivery and adequate housing. Sebenzi, wona wona, unzi magakulu, uya singabela, akutecheki, abando baningi la ipopomlifi. Basebenza kuzinda oze zmaele, abasebenza kuzona, kusuke la gonda, beni, kuchabula, kupiskopo, kupula, kumadekani, so venet kopa, banyi basebenza le turupi. Nonge na kuti, unga ya kupi. Uzo suku vachelu mtini, inda wofika kuyo, unga ichwa elangi, inga kupili sika kutlenga pagati. Output Sati lenda ungu popo mlifi. Ye, bete mbisi sitye mbisi ngati, anga senze elizi ndo. Inda uzoguti, sitio elizi ndela, sitio lena ndo na ndo ni. Nukuba asi nga anga spusi, kusifuma, nukusifuma ayu. Malo onga zange kwenze ege, ungo kwa nga zange ente ente, sambona sele senya malele. Ena ngo usisaifunge la lenda upega pambile, lenda wa ipopo mlifi, aichi inchi. Popo mlifi was only the first to make promises to the community. Politicians, mines, and administrators have been making promises since then. To this day, none have come true. So in South Africa, the constitution uh, places a whole lot of different obligations on different levels of government. And so what we call service delivery is generally uh, the obligation of municipalities. And the services they're supposed to provide include housing, water, electricity, what we call basic municipal services, but also include things like refuse removable, uh, road repairs, all types of stuff like this. The only problem with the term service delivery is that it might suggest that it is something that is happening out of the benevolence of the government, but actually it's happening because the government is obliged to act in that way. The obligations are pretty clear. Uh, the, the problems are normally somewhere between the province and the municipal level, and very often at the municipal level. They can range from a lack of inadequate planning, inadequate resourcing, inadequate implementation of plans, or just a lack of interest or will to execute basic functions. A lot of municipalities are very highly under-equipped, and although uh, corruption and maladministration is in focus only when it happens on a national level, uh, in cabinets it's much, much, much more common at a local level. I'm sure that the, the demands on the municipality are exponential. I can remember meeting with the mayor of Malibeng 
and her saying to me in tears, I just don't know. On a weekly basis, it feels that there is a new informal settlement and the demands in terms of the infrastructure of a human settlement are gigantic. Uh, and we just can't cope. You don't have to be a wizard, an economic wizard, to travel down that N4 and recognize that there is some substantial exploitation of both the environment and the mining that's going on over there and that uh, you know our perceptions of what is profitable and what is humane seem to be on two different planets and I do think secondly that the mining industry can do much much better I mean that should their place should be the Garden of Eden and, and potentially it is the Garden of Eden because the, the possibilities in terms not only of mining but also of farming, uh, it's an incredible stretch of wealth in this country. But my humble opinion, and I know this sounds like mind bashing, but my humble opinion is that the whole SLP formulation which gives the mines an opportunity and a license to operate in certain places has certainly not affected a community like Popomulefe, which is really right on their doorstep. The people of Popomulefe feel they've been abandoned by politicians. In absence of formal leadership, they have chosen their own leaders. They have elected a group called the Top Ten, individuals who have championed the community in the past. But the Top Ten struggles to access those in power. Pressure from civil society and the presence of a documentary crew seemed to put pressure on the municipality. In an off-camera meeting, the municipality claimed that a solution was around the corner. They claimed that Bobo Mulefe was close to their hearts. They denied any knowledge of the 2018 protest. We engaged them several times. We even took a march to the money to submit the memorandum to the mayor of Rastenberg municipality. He never responded to any of the issues that were, was raised on the memorandum by the community. We said as the community, okay, we, are going to, we have to make a follow-up on this. Even at the gate of the municipality, they were already there were police. They deployed someone from, from uh, is one of the MMCs or either is someone from public safety. He came to present uh, a letter to us that the mayor, the mayor was not around by then. When we went through that letter, we, we picked something that was so disturbing. There was, no, there was no date. There was no signature. So it, it has shown that it was so dis the disrespectful. They came with a paper, something that 
you don't know if it was written 10 years back or 15 years back. It, they, there was no date on that letter. So it has shown that uh, this letter was not coming from the municipality. There was no, even, uh, even the logo. The people started to be, to be frustrated. They realized that these people are not taking them seriously. And then they, so they said, okay, better we go back to them so that we can, we can tell them we, this is what we want. Then as, as leaders, we, we, we tried by all means, we stopped them and they listened. They listened actually to us. He said, well, the commander of the police here in town, Rastenbeck, police station. So what he said to me, he said, no, uh, you guys must disperse your people. You see, when, when you see the police starting to draw the C, they were making the, 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 the C shape, you must know that there's something that is going to happen. That's what, that's what we saw on that day. And then each and every police who were there, they pulled out their guns. When we say the tear gas, then, then rubber bullets. <laughs> Ama poisa i tu amanye ahamba au shiega u tu. Eli wani lendota langbopum lens. Lower ga left ongali malang. So why ngi 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 sain tungu ngangaga why why watena wenzum sebens wat. Okay. Mangi mangi wacha ufu wang buzu tang funi ngatimina ang fun. So mangi mangala <laughs> lepo isalati mina mama ufuna sienze nge sugu lentule no ma ufuna sienze gashi. Gai ngavu ma wangbopa, wangbopa gen. Wafiga utogotela, mefigu utogotela ufiga oreta ma po isase mbopili. Seo wakipa la mapuleti. I too to go tell him Benzinwam. Mangs Mangi at the eight, I'm a poison hamper nam. I eighty eight. Angen eighty eight, a barbuz or dog to low mamma gun to Enzin. Ningen and eighty eight. But Benjum Sebens Wab. Ah, Gisetti at Tangi Clina is Londa, Genza Yonki in Tor, Bashay, Bang Bugil. Bashele Kalin, Bafagan in Pashas a city eight. Manga Otin, Bahambenam, Bayotin. Giboshi and Ginjad. Gafilia Watin in Gashinchelu Petty, Gafaro Petty in Wasa Watin, Gabosha foot. In Deng Patagabi, Woody Umuntu Manga Beboshi, where there is some papers our tolayo, Woody our sign. Ugutu ya tishajwa. Mina zanga zangenze yonke lyonke. Tati nga ye zangu mina wati. Uma ngabe seng, seng puma seng tishajwa spezela. Gimfo unelu. Wangdingeza mafon number zwaki. Ma ngfiga ekoti. Ngfiga sebe nglindi le nabanyi. Ekoti si babizwe, 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 babizwe. Abantu wa babe, bebe, bebo shiu. Mina zangi zengbizu la mikamu. Gizbuzu kuchi kanjani kosi nambe mboshiwe. Gifangi afana na labanta bebe mboshiwe. So, how come kuchi la mikamu dinga abikoni? The truth is no one cares about the poor in South Africa. Um, and this is all propaganda and campaigning 
a lot of political promises have been made to Popo Manefe, and this is not the only informal settlement which has been offered such promises. But I think the real truth comes from the fact that there has been no, um, no delivery on the promises to these communities. Popo Manefe still sits there 20 years or more than 20 years later, still with no toilets, no water and sanitation facilities, and no proper or adequate housing. So the com community started complaining of nightmares, of flashbacks, of depression, of uh, difficulty in their relationships. This is, you know, when one is in a counseling relationship with them, not understanding their anger outbursts uh, and their, uh, their almost intolerance sometimes of the of needing to discipline their children and being concerned about themselves and their emotional and psychological stability. And you know, that takes a long time uh, to debrief. First of all, the services, nobody, as far as I know, from social development has been in there and done an assessment of whether people are broken, how people are managing. So. Some people even spoke uh, uh, of, of not wanting to carry on living because of the, uh, of the hopelessness that they found themselves in. Every citizen has got to recognize that if we don't wake up sooner or later, we will be responsible for a civil war in this country because you cannot expect the poor to just sing hymns to Jesus and be satisfied with that emotional support week by week. Ultimately, when you see that your children don't have a future and you don't have a future, the, the price to pay for freedom, real freedom, will be negligible. <laughs> The shooting at the protest is being investigated by IPID. No charges have been filed. Popo Molefe remains without roads, electricity, water, a public clinic, a school, a town hall, a police station, a home for the disabled, or any of the promises made by Popo Molefe, Supra Mohamopelu, Patabile Lamini, and Mpo Kunong. <laughs> Asisala liyemakaya ba, kenga ye 